Hey guys, it is Shy Sweet, and once again there is a new update out for Guardian Tales. And as usual, you can jump over to guardiantales.com to read all about it. So, what is the new stuff in the new update? The first thing is that there is a new stage for World 11 on Recorded World. It's the stage 6 is now opened. I have not yet made it to World 11, so I need to get on that and see what it is about. I've heard that it's supposed to be super hard, but I don't know yet. We'll see when I eventually get there. And then there is a new hero and equipment. There's a new three-star hero called Chosen One's Arch Priestess Veronica and her new exclusive weapon Messiah. And then there's also a new exclusive weapon for Lorraine called Emma. So let's go and check Veronica out. Starting to be quite a few unique heroes in, in the game now. So, Veronica is a support type hero of water element. And her ability is that she's using a staff. And her normal attack is called Arch Priestess Divine Authority. Punishment releases holy power to inflict damage to mid ranged enemies. So, it's a uh, half ranged. Uh, hero, I guess. Blessing of the Chosen One increases nearby party members crit hit multiplier by 100% for 4 seconds. So this means your critical damage will double pretty much every time you get a crit hit for these 4 seconds. And then her chain skill is called Light of Courage. And you see, it can use any state, uh, state and it goes to downed after. Inflicts 180% of DPS on target with a holy light and increases the entire party's crit hit chance and attack by 30% for 5 seconds. So the crit hit chance combined with the crit hit multiplier is pretty good because then you will do more damage and you will have a higher chance of doing more damage as well. And then the special ability if you Limit Breaker to the max is Recharge Holy Power. Increases damage and decreases damage taken by 50% of weapon skill regeneration speed. So I guess this means that if you have, for example, uh, Future Knight on your team, which decreases your weapon skill regener regeneration speed even more, then this will be increase the damage as well so it, let's say you have 70, 70 or 80 percent of weapon skill regeneration speed then you will do 35 40 percent extra damage and you will also decrease your damage taken by 40 percent so this seems like it's going to increase your damage a lot and also make her a lot more better with the survivability and then defense 305, that's pretty high actually, the base defense. Damage reduction 16 and fire resistance plus 30%, earth resistance minus 30% since she is water. The party skill is skill attack plus 80%, so your chain skill is going to do more damage for the party. And then individual skill attack plus 10% and 5% shield increase on battle start. And then we have her exclusive weapon. Uh, it's uh, Chosen One's Arch Priestess Veronica only. The Blessing of the Chosen One inflicts 150% of DPS damage on enemies and restores party members HP by 15%. So the weapon will also add some healing to, to your attacks together with the the uh, increased attack and, uh, and, and, and crit rate. So overall not bad I would say. Um, I don't really know if I am going to go for this, uh, this banner this time because I feel like there is already support heroes out there that is going to do the same job pretty much as well as she does and I already have Eva for example that I still have not started limit breaking 
and I already have her exclusive weapon as well so I think I should go for her first uh, but overall she doesn't seem like she is bad and um, she if you need a full water team she would probably be a good addition but since I do not have Garam either I will probably go for Garam instead in this uh, in this summon event so let's hop over to the Colosseum and okay we need to download some contents first um, to see if anyone is you in the top is using Veronica right now since it's been a few hours since she was out uh, she came out so let's go to the Colosseum first let's put myself there and let's go to rankings and it does not look like any of the top players have changed their lineups and put Veronica in there here is one on 13th place so I guess she is usable in the Colosseum not very common to have in there though that one is the only one I've seen on the top 30 so not a common hero to use in the Colosseum. Let's check the arena as well. So, and neither is she in any of the top ones here. I actually can't see her anywhere on the top 20. So yeah, it doesn't look like she will be a uh, top tier PvE right now at least maybe she will be better in the future when she, if there's more heroes coming out that synchronizes better with her abilities but right now it doesn't look like she will be used in PvP if you do not have a good support champion then of course I think you should go for her but me that already have support champions that are good that I still not have invested in I feel like I should go for a better hero for me right now because I do not have a good water team either and I feel I feel like personally that Garam is the better choice in in this time but overall she might be useful in the future and she might even get a rework because as of now she is not being used a lot in the in the PvP sections of the game at least so that was the new heroes and the equipment and then there is the events there is new pickup events and this time there is four of them except from Veronica there is also Garam that I mentioned that I will probably go for because I really need to better my water team and then no Noble Succubus Bianca and Grand Admiral Marina so I already have Bianca and Marina but I do not have Garam or Veronica so I will go for Graham first and if I get lucky maybe I will have some gems left over to go for Veronica as well. And then there is the pickup summons for the weapons, Messiah and a Thousand Thunder for Graham and Astarte for Bianca and Armada for Marina. And there is a new roadmap event, the Dawn of Arch Priestess, where you can win uh, good stuff for your... Uh, for your uh, progression in the game. Let's go check what we can get. So I already did some of it, but you can get some uh, hammers here, some uh, experience, some coffee, gems, summoning stones, um, evolution stones for gram, for chosen for Veronica, for Bianca and I guess Marina is over here somewhere too. Nope, you cannot get any evolution stones for Marina but you can get some mileage uh, points here and also some hero crystals. So as usual in these roadmap events it is really useful to try to get as far as you can into the, the event because you will have good use of the things you win in there especially if you're free to play like I am and then there is something
called Heaven Hold Special Cartoon that is will that will be unlocked as a clearing world three starting on March 16. And so I'm guessing this is a cartoon you will be able to watch in the game. So that's gonna be fun to see what that is about. And then they have reversed side story 21st Canterbury Street. And this means you can play all the stages in this side story again and earn all the same rewards again except for the cards and the costumes that you've gotten from it. Except for that you can play it again and win the rewards again. This is very nice because rewards is always nice. And then updates to the shop, there's new costumes and there's new, two new equipment costumes and a bunch of new packages, nothing free this time, so you need to spend real money to get all of these packages. And then we have three new collections to the knowledge, and two new Tower of Horizon is open. It's for water season will be going on for four weeks, and also Tower of Dark season will be going on for four weeks right now. And then they have added Orb orbital lift autoplay so you can start autoplay on the orbital uh, lift and it will play the stages automatically until you reach a uh, uh, record room so every 50 stages I think it is if I remember it right so you can press autoplay and it will play through the next 50 stages unless you die then it will also stop and then they've made some improvements on the cooperation uh, si reward system which is always nice, the more, more rewards again is always good to have. And then they have added something called auto random evolution. I personally do not really get this part yet. I have read through it, but I do not really understand what it does. It seems like you can uh, evol evolve your equipment into something else randomly. Uh, I need to try this out so I can try to understand what what it means. And then they've added Guardian Pass 2021 Season 3. And uh, as usual you get rewards for just playing the game. And they've done some Heroes Balance and Bug Revision and some Bug and Function improvements. So if you want to read all about the details, go over to GuardianTales.com and find the new news about this. and Please let me know what you think about Veronica, if she is worth summoning and if I actually should go for her instead of Garam. I do not think so, but I would appreciate your input and see maybe I should go for her instead for Garam. But uh, we'll see, I will think about it overnight. And also if you guys do know what this auto random evolution means exactly, let me know in the comments as well. So this was, that was it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was helpful for you and if it was, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you at the next video.